What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your channel. So today um, we're going to go over what's in my new uh, range bag. So I just got this range bag a couple days ago, earlier this week. Uh, I was able to load this up and then I went out to go shoot the uh, USARAC, uh, which is the Uni United States Army um, Alaska uh, CG's two-gun uh, competition. It was invitational. So it was open to civilians and whoever wants to come uh, show up and shoot. Uh, so here's everything that I brought actually, uh, minus my gallon of water. But this is everything that I brought. As you can see, I just came in the garage, just threw it up in here, and um, here we are set up. We set up everything so we can just um, vlog here. Um, I apologize, right now we're in my gar our garage. Um, the vlog space right now, the vlog room, is being torn down. Uh, we are in the process of moving. If you can see, I am on top of some of our moving boxes, as you can see. So hopefully in the next, by the end of the month, we should be moved in. We should be hopefully set up and some new vlog space will be uh, available. So you'll see some new vlog space. So. Hopefully it'll be, it'll be a lot better, all right? But, as you can see, this is everything I brought. Um, if you didn't see my previous videos on what is on my battle belt, here's my battle belt. The Ronin Tactics Shuto uh, belt. Uh, I took off the holster. My holster, my holster's in the bag right here. I used our unit uh, M17. So I drew whatever uh, holster they had for that weapon. Dropped it into the QLS. Um, I am so happy that the army has went to the Safari Land ALS. Well, the ALS level three. I'm not sure what, what version uh, we have at the arms room, but I was able to drop it in here. Drop the M17 in and grab my uh, M4 and head out to the competition. So it was, it was actually pretty cool. Uh, S stack Kiwis, uh, two rifle mags. And then I got two Estec Kiwi uh, pistol mags. So pretty good setup. I took off the my MRE cutter, uh, just a regular Leatherman. I took it off uh, while we're moving around the stage. In the stages, I just jumped in the in the government van, the vehicle that I was using, and this thing was digging into my hip. So I might take this off permanently. It's it's not really doing anything much. So right, involve the equipment to make sure that it fits perfectly for you. So. Took that off. Uh, might add a dump pouch eventually um, on this side, of course. But uh, more to follow once in a, I get that equipment. So when I update this, I'll, I'll create a video and let you guys know what I update. All right. Here's the inner belt that goes with it. I think I showed it uh, when in the last video, but here it is. This goes on you. It stays on your pants. That way you can just attach it. This is the loop side of the Velcro. Attach the belt. Boom. You're good to go. So. Uh, I have some videos of what of the invitational, the competition. So you can see me running around with this, and I've also used a the Haiti strategic uh, chest rig. Uh, so I will do a review on this because I really do like this chest rig. Uh, it's minimal. It's really really uh, tiny. Um, yeah, I use it during the whole competition. Mags or P mags. Um, I carry, we only have three pistol uh, M17 mags in arms room. So two 21 mag, uh, round mags and one 17 round mag. So I kept the, the two 21 rounds on my belt. And I kept one of the 17. And depending on the, the stage, I just switched out whichever one I needed. So I'll go over uh, my full review on this. This is just, I love this chest rig. Alright, so let's get down to the purpose of the uh, the little, uh, this is a really large bag. Um, I filled whatever I had in my 511 Rush 12, stuffed it into this bag, and then I added a couple more things uh, for this the competition that I shot. All right. So first off the bat, here are two little compartments. All right. As you can see, one side that I carried are all my cleaning supplies, cleaning kits. So I have a. Uh, hops uh, 9 mil for my pistol, and I have a rifle uh, for 7.62 and 5.6. 6 
in here. Also have a, a little a bar flag, or sorry, not bar flag, a chamber flag, and my shot timer, all in here. So this is my, that's my maintenance, you know, and my shot timer. All my maintenance stuff, all in here. And see how this is all can fit. It fits perfectly, I've got a lot of stuff, and these are big items, I like it. Next over, uh, we have uh, my med kit. I just have in here, I don't want to take it out. I have, the, I have a lot of stuff in here. So I have my cat tourniquet, cat tourniquet right here. I have oh, some elastic tourniquets, you know, the smaller things. We got a couple of those in here. Got, it's really bandaged, we got compression gauze, all that stuff in here. So just. Some stuff to just some basic stuff. I don't have any quick uh, quick light yet in here um, or anything. So I just have that. Got a couple uh, several scissors, um, several scissors just to cut you know cut open um, balding or whatever if you need to or open up the MREs. Uh, so I have the all in here. All right, coming around this side. All right, so then the range. I use this bag mainly for. Um, what I have for snacks, but I had my pistol, you know, holster. This is my for my Smith and Wesson uh, MP9. This holds a uh, four and a quarter, I think, or three and a half. This holds a yeah four and a quarter inch. So, but I use this for my uh, nine Charlie, my nine compact. But uh, during, the, during the competition, I stuffed snacks in here and everything, and. You know, we didn't. I couldn't bring a full lunch because the, the competition just went through all day from six till almost 1900. So, yeah, I just lived off of snacks that day. And in here, a little, little bottle bag. You can put a can of spray paint, or I just put a can of Monster. You know, that's my that's my lifeblood, that's my jam right now. There's a can of Monster put in here. So, a little padded, a little insulated, kept it cool. So, not too bad. It's something simple, you know? This is this, pretty nice. Alright, coming around. Alright, so right here is a compartment that takes up essentially as large as the uh, main compartment. So, here, I think I like this. I like this part the best, the most. The best? The most. So, uh, I have a little, uh, what's this? The pool? Not the pool. This is a up Lula. So I have one of these. Uh -huh. Saves my fingers, especially when I was uh, loading uh, brand new M17 mags. Uh, we have, uh, like I said, two 21 round mags, and uh, we had a one, I said 221? Yeah, two 21 mags and two, a uh, one, two 21 mags and one 17 round mag. But in the two 21s, I only could put 20 rounds in it. And then the 17 round, I only could put 16 rounds. The springs are brand new. I was the first one to put rounds in our issued weapon. Um, whenever our commander goes out to go shoot, he just borrows a weapon that's out there. So it's like I was the first one. Maiden voyage of our M17, the unit M17 was, was yesterday. So I was the first one to shoot uh, rounds through it. Um, it's a pretty sweet gun. But, uh, brand new mags, yeah, I had to like really work it in. Not until maybe the last stage. Not even the, la not the last stage, because the last stage was only rifle. Uh, the, the stage prior to that, um, or stage one, if you will, it was, I was able to fit all mags um, up, to mag up to capacity. So, yeah. So, this thing saved my, my fingers. All right. I got some pasties. I got, you know, bra uh, brown and white. Black, common pasties. Uh, I got a ARCAA um, rifle mag uh, loader. I got this when I was in Iraq. I don't know why. I just, when you're in Iraq, uh, back in 06, 07, you know, I just, I was, a, I was an idiot, just buying stuff, buying used stuff. Uh, some 
uh, Ruger 1022 magazines. Pistol mags, all for my my, my pistol. Uh, I have one loaded with my carry ammo, so it's missing. It's, it's in my gun safe right now, but I love this. Store some pens in here whenever I want to get. But you can you can fold this out. You know, lay your pistol on there, and it is. You know, there's potential pistol on you know hard surface or whatever if you want to get dirty, scratched, whatever. Really like this. I think this is my favorite compartment of them all. So, and you can stuff everything. You know, organize it correctly. So it does dumping it out. This becomes a large compartment. This becomes a second large pocket. It fits everything that you have. I like it. Alright, coming around this side. Here, I'm sorry, we're in, I think, I think someone's showering upstairs, so we're, we're, the, we're in the, the garage, so, you know, the water. So, I apologize for the, the weird noise that's going on. But, in here, this is my PPE. Um, here, I might put a little, here's a little car holder. I might put a, put my uh, USB-C card or, you know, just to hold the card in there. I'm not sure yet. Um, but, I do have some uh, iPro, you know, for the kids, for any soldier that doesn't have theirs, you know, whatever. I have extras and some extra air pro. So eyes and ears are in this bag, this little Pucci. Mm -hmm. So nice, nice, nice. How much? That's a lot of stuff in here. Right. So that is everything on the outside. So here, I like to. I, I I don't like to have the the straps on the sting really low, so I have to keep it you know above my hips when I'm carrying the bag with this. So adjusting adjusting the uh, straps in here, and it, the shoulder pad on this you can take out the velcro, adjust the buckle, you can slide it through, or you can take it off if you want to completely. But I like I just like this design where I can adjust the positioning of the of the shoulder pad instead of trying to slip the buckle all in the, you know through the, the sleeve, which is kind of awkward in itself already. Um, I like the design of the, the carabiner thing behind these little clips. As you can see, there are little hooks. Um, I don't know if you can see it here in the camera. All right, so if there's down if you're if this thing's loaded like. How I somewhat have it loaded, you know, the downward pressure, and these are plastic, so it's just that little extra support. These are it's pretty stiff, very hard plastic, but that little extra support holding, and if you can see the little hook holding the, the clip, holding the, the plastic hook right here, you know, just giving that support will hopefully, uh, you know, extend the life of the hook. And then the D ring on this thing is metal. So, pretty good sturdy design. I like it. Alright, let's get down to the main part. Alright, so here is the tool handle. Double zipper opens up. Alright, in here, one of, the, one of the best features, especially when I shot, uh, when I shot in the competition yesterday, you know, one of the biggest things that I liked is that this is actually bags so you have a little stage bag so this stayed in the van stayed in the vehicle the whole time all right and then I just grabbed this and walked around the stage where you know the stages uh, so what I had in here I didn't have this but right now I just put everything back in there but I have uh, two sets of ear pro so this I let me have the boy our little one when he when he comes out to shoot because it's kind of hard to put uh, foamies in his ears right now since he's a little kid he's going to be seven so it's, it's a challenge to put something in his ear so having this on him you know it actually helps out so he can actually have ear pro then I have you know, this what's this the impact sport these work I like them they actually you know fit under your, the ACH you know the army combat helmet so all right. Uh, so binoculars, I can look out to distance or coach a soldier when I need to. So 
and a GoPro. It's a Hero 3, but I used this when I was at the competition. So one of the, one of the stages was a blind shoot. Uh, it was a shoot house where we were not allowed to do the you know the five minute walkthrough of the, the stage. Essentially, we walked up. And, uh, the shoot house has a berm that surrounds the whole complex. We had to stay outside of the outside of the berm. And we called each one of us out there, and then we just stood at the door, pistol ready. Uh, was the, the buzzer sound? We draw a pistol and start clearing the rooms. Uh, multiple targets: shoot, no shoot. Uh, civilian, you know, you know, hostile combatants, uh, friendly forces. So it was a really, really fun uh, uh, competition. That little stage was pretty fun. Um, oranges, oranges. If you, if you shot that USARAC, if you're watching this video and you shot that USARAC uh, Two Gun Invitational in 2020, oranges. Oh my gosh, the tray of oranges. Damn it. <laughs> All right. So here it is. All right. Um, but during the, during the competition, all I had was, so I, I had this if I needed, if I wanted to shoot, uh, if I couldn't wear my, if I didn't have to wear my chest rig, the each of the strategic, hit a strategic chest rig. If I didn't need to wear it, I just threw on a GoPro, you know, just for a little uh, POV action for, uh, for later on when I put that together but if I had to wear it or when I chose to wear it I just threw this in here and then, um, they gave me 200 rounds of uh, rifle rounds so it pretty much filled up my one two three four seven magazines I had so 210 rounds right so I had enough uh, ammo to so I didn't have any extra ammo uh, that was laying around so I was able to fill up all the magazines and carry it around each stage in, in the magazines. But during the uh, the actual uh, stage, I had um, the pistol rounds. Uh, I had 200 rounds, so I had four boxes of pistol rounds. So uh, one box I was able to uh, completely you know, use up. And then the rest of the boxes I just kept in here. And walk around with this bag to each stage. Uh, once we are done shooting the stage, and we had to move to a different parking lot, threw this in the van, right next to it, boop, Droop, uh, threw my M4 in the back of the van, jumped in the vehicle, drive off to the next parking lot, grab my M4, grab this, walked out to the stage, left this in the van. Very, very convenient the way this is, this is designed, the stage bag. All right. So, uh, this week, uh, it was supposed to rain, you know, there's like a call of rain, so I threw some some rain gear, some army, this is level 6, we call these level 6s, so these are, this is the, this regular rain gear, um, the extreme cold wet weather trousers, here's the trousers, and here's the parka, but we're going to be able to fit this into, the, into here and carry it around the stage, so very, very, very nifty, very cool. But in here, the compartment, well, I also have just in case my so I wear Safari 9 holsters, just in case the holster falls apart, I have some extra hardware. Uh, I have got screws, I got the, the T pulse, uh, sp uh, T, uh, I have a spacer on here, the Adam wrenches, several Adam wrenches, just in case. And I have one of the, the backings, and I have different size screws in here. So. Always have, always have, uh, always carry extra hardware just in case. I'm gonna put it in here. Actually, let's go. All right, but and in here is a little ammo holder, and you can dump out. You, know, you can put brass in here, put ammo. I was gonna put all the M9 ammo in here, but I just realized, you know what? I'm gonna have to turn the ammo after. You got to don't shoot it. It's so. Just kept the empty. Just kept the stuff into the pouch in here through the park. All right, but this little pouch. You know, not sure what this is for. Maybe to cinch over. You know, to, just to ensure that nothing falls out. But you can put brass in here. You can pick up brass to right in here. And then one thing is there's a little mesh. You can see the mesh. Mesh. 
Right, you can throw the throw your brass in here. You know, shake it around, shake out the, the dot, dot. Shake out the dirt, shake out the rocks. You know, all right. All right, we get some clean ammo. Maybe you cinch it up, clip it to the side so it's not you know you don't you don't have dirty ammo. You just bouncing around and making this more dirty, whatever. But here that is. Looks like there's clips on the, the, both ends. So you maybe you can, if you want to, turn this, remove this clip if you're keeping this in the van. Take off the clips in here, throw it in here, and this becomes, you know, a little small bag that you can go do your, do your shooting. Some extra compartments on the sides, some zipper. I didn't use these compartments in here. So I, don't, I haven't found a use for them yet. Uh, and each compartment on here, the front and back, they're both attached by Velcro. So you can adjust the size. Uh, I made this a little bigger so I can put, you know, uh, some gears, my electronic gears, the muffs, and all that, some extra magazine into the, in here, and have that stored. It's very nifty. I like this design, so keep this out so that way we can do some, some vids later. You gotta edit that video for you guys. There you go. Right now it's not filled to the brim, but there it is. How that looks. So, pretty good. Alright, All right. it's on the bottom. I just got some, some targets. I got a folder of targets. Uh, I used to write my my pistol training or my intro my session. The last time I wrote in here was uh, June 20. Uh, 2011. This is when I used to own a Glock 23. Um, I got scared of it. I, I'm still, I'm not sure what happened, what's going on. Still, I, I'm gonna, I might have to take some, some lessons or some, uh, some instruction on pistol, pistol shooting. I can shoot rifle for days, but something with pistol, like, I'm still shooting low right. I'm a lefty. And I'm shooting low right still. So, all right, move it on here. And you can see a big compartment, right? On both sides, right? If you have extra pistols, you can put it inside. I uh, only have one pistol, so yeah, you know, it's, it, it is what it is. Um, but I have a uh, pistol grip, so four pistol grip for my work carbine, my extra carbine. Got some staples, and my staple gun. So, large compartment, large compartment. So overall, I do love the bag. The bag is awesome. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to my buddy in Hawaii. Uh, he works at the 511 Tactical in Hawaii. Uh, Oahu, uh, good high school buddy of mine, high school friend. Uh, he hooked me up with one of these, so shout out to him, Grant Takimoto. Um, shout out to that guy. Uh, however, one of the big gripes I have about the bag though is this Velcro portion here, um, I do like this design because it, with the double zipper, you know, it opens up, you know, pretty wide. But if you're running around, you're ready to stuff this bag inside, right? You know, and you're not paying attention, the flap right here gets pushed in, right? And then you zip up, it's an open spot. So I'm, that's one of my pet peeves is, uh, I like to get my, my all of my gear compartmentalized, like enclosed just in case you don't have dirt, you know, bugs. I grew up in Hawaii, you know, I'm always afraid of centipedes where, you know, if you keep your shoes outside, you know, you might have a centipede crawl up into your boot or your shoes, you know, take a fat nap in, that, in your shoes and all of a sudden you're, stick your foot in there, you know, or you're sticking your hand and you're just, you see something that you need, like if I need my ear, like another set of ears, and you know, so you're crossing your hands and freaking out. But I have to keep my stuff compartmentalized because I hear in Alaska, uh, some of the stages uh, you know, we shot at had, were in uh, really high tall grass areas. So there was a lot of mosquitoes, uh, uh, wasps, you know, jumpy critters and everything. Uh, just one that's flying here, you just stick your hand, you know. uh, I don't know, it just, it's just one thing I, I, I think could be improved on, 
I'm not sure uh, how, because eventually this is probably going to wear out and it's just going to stay down, you know. Because this, this is a brand new bed. I had this thing, I got this thing on Tuesday, took this out on Thursday. Today is Friday. So, um, see, and without me, I would have to like, try to fish for it. Or, if I throw the bag in, in a rush, throw the bag in, it's not secure, you know. And it, it, this, this thing tumbles, I might lose like a set of ears or something, you know, out of this hole. So, uh, one of my, maybe this one small fix on this, uh, maybe, you know, extending it all the way through, and keeping this as a hard piece, I'm not sure, but just something to keep it more, you know, you know keep it secured a lot better. So. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, this is the Ready Range bag. It is probably one of my favorite bags uh, by far. Um, this is my first Ready Range bag. My actual first, 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 first range bag. I've used other bags like, you know, backpacks, you know, but I think I think this is my go-to bag. Uh, I'm going to be in my go-to bag for a while for competition shooting, especially that stage bag that I can walk around with. Well, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really did like using the 511 Ritter range bag uh, during the USERAC 2 gun competition. Uh, the stage bag uh, made it convenient for me to carry whatever I needed to each stage instead of me carrying the whole bag in itself. So, if you enjoyed today's episode, hit the thumbs up button. Also, if you want to see more error, uh, episodes like this, uh, hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the notification button so that way you know when I'm uploading again. Lastly, if you want to see uh, more gear reviews, let me know what you want to see. Um, drop me a comment down below. And I'm also looking at getting some merch, uh, some stickers, uh, some patches, some shirts. Let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys want to see or what you guys want to pick up. All right. Until then, I'll see you in the next episode.